Okay, so this is an example of rack focus. You can see there, by doing the settings on the camera, you can uh, change the focus accurately from the foreground then to focus it in on me in the background. And if we click the set button again, it can go back and refocus on the foreground. And again, by pressing the set button again, it can focus back on, on me in, in the uh, background. So that's an example of rack focus and how it can uh, be very useful for your filming. And as I said, this comes with Magic Lantern software. So we'll have a look at uh, the rack focus option now and how you can set it. Okay, we'll have a look now at the um, uh, rack focus and how you actually do that. And first thing is we'll go into uh, Magic Lantern. I'm gonna click on the trash can button. You see the options at the top there. The one we want there is focus. And there are two options here, focus endpoint and rack focus. And I'm going to show you the procedure you use now. So rack focus is what we're going to use, but we first need to set up the focus endpoint to um, allow us to, to achieve that. So I'm just going to come out of this for a minute. Now in the picture, what I want to actually do in the actual uh, composition here, I want to have it that the um, background, as, as we saw before, comes into focus. So the foreground um, is immediately in focus and then it defaults to the background being in focus. At the moment you can see the foreground is in focus. So the first thing to do is to um, set up where you want the end point of your focus to be. So I'm just simply going to use the automatic focusing on the Canon here to do that. So I'm going to hold down the shutter button halfway in live view and try and get a focus. Now the first thing to know, what I've actually also enabled on this is the magic zoom. You can see there that helps me to achieve a focus. You can also use the zoom button here as you can see, the Canon one. But it's quite handy having the magic zoom on because you can see um, as you go along as the green lines appear around the focus area that indicates it's in focus. So having achieved focus where I want it to um, default to, end up in focus too, it's the end focus point, the next thing I'm going to do is go back into Magic Lantern, click in the trash can, and you can see the various options there. I'm going to choose focus end point. By clicking on that, by clicking the set button, it says focus end point, zero steps from here. Now, that means that this is the actual end point we're going to focus on now. Now, don't do anything else now. What you want to do now is to actually not use any of the, any of the buttons yet. I want you to leave the focus end point there on the screen. And what we're going to do is actually move our shot to actually get a focus on the area in the foreground I want to start the focus at. So it's going to be initially show the plant in the foreground to be in focus and then go to the end point showing the flowers in the background where I was standing in focus. So having gone to um, uh, the initial focus area I want to focus on, I've got the focus area, this small square in the middle there. And what I'm going to do is not use the Canon default focus settings because once you're in the um, focus endpoint settings in rack focus, instead what you've got to do is use these, the plus and the minus magnification buttons. And if I now, um, for example, press the uh, plus button there, you can see it starts to get into focus there. It says plus eight states from here. And you see it's starting to focus the foreground there. And you can see actually in the magic zoom there, it appeared green stripes around the area, which indicates that foreground area is now in focus. It's 10 steps from the plants at the backgrounds that were in focus. Now you can also fine tune the focusing if you so wish in that you can go backwards using the uh, play button there and the Q button brings it forward you can see there so you get a slightly step-by-step -step focus. So the thing to note here as I said is once you're in the focus endpoint setting in, in rack focus you, you don't use the um, focus button on the Canon that'll destroy the, the focus for you. Use the plus and the minus magnification to get the basic focusing and then you can use the uh, play button and the Q button to go back and forth step by step. Now here I can see I've actually got the focus from where I want the focus to actually start. So I'm going to recompose my shot now, bringing the foreground into the background. And from here what I'm going to do is actually now start recording. It doesn't matter that that focus endpoint comes on the screen, obviously that's not going to appear in the shot. So I'm going to start the recording button. I'll just move it a little bit there. Recording button now. And it's now recording. Now it, um, what I'm going to do next is go back into um, Trashcan. Once going to Trashcan, once you can see now it is recording. 
and go in once more. And this time what I'm going to do is go down to rack focus. Now when I press the rack focus button, the rack focus will actually start to work. So if you watch now, if I press it once, you will see hopefully that the focus changes to the background. So that's worked. If I want to bring it back again, I'm going to click the set button again. And you might see there the focus appears accurately to the foreground. Let's do it once more. So once the rack focus uh, symbol there is on the screen, by pressing the set button, it will keep going back and forth. I found personally over time, if you could do it enough times, it actually will in, in the end lose focus, but uh, it's pretty good. And um, all I'm using here is a 50 mil uh, Canon, the standard uh, low cost Canon 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. So it shows you can do it with anything on, on the 600D. And um, again, once you've done that, you're recording now. If I click on the trash can button, uh, you're back in normal recording. It was recording even while we were doing the rack focus. And that's effectively how you do the rack focus. So I'm going to come out of there. I'm going to. So just to quickly rehash the steps, the biggest thing is to note um, is these when you're doing the focusing in rack focus, it's quite it's tricky. You've got to do it by this procedure. So you just need to do, remember, going through a trash can and don't go into rack focus initially. You've got to set the focus endpoint. So start off, the first thing to do is to find your, your focus end point. So again, before you actually go into that, focus on where you want the shot to end up. And I'm just going to use, you can use manual focus or you can use uh, automatic focus on that part of it. And I focus there on the uh, flowers in the background. By using magic zoom, it's very useful because when you go back, it will see when we go back into the um, rack focus and we start doing the focus end point focusing, um, you can no longer zoom in on the can and using these buttons they're taken over by the end focus rack, rack focus and therefore you, to find out what it actually looks like the air focus in focus area the only way you can actually effectively do that is with the magic zoom so that's why it's had to have it on and have it on always when you're doing this to e ease your focusing so again um, we've focused on the background area just to run through it quickly again we're then going to just make sure that that's the focus end point so focus end point here you can see I'm going to click on that. Zero steps from here, that means it's, that is the focus end point. There's no steps from there at the moment. Then move to the foreground area you want using the small uh, focus area in, in, the, um, in the middle of the screen. And then not using, as I said before, the inbuilt Canon focusing, um, you're going to use the uh, focusing from Magic Lantern. And that, in this particular respect, uses these buttons, the magnification plus and minus. So I'm going to press the uh, plus button there just to bring up focus. You can see you can see it's changing. It's nine steps now from the initial focus on the plants in the background. It's got green did go up here around the, um, the magic zoom area. It does look focused, but you see the magic zoom does help us a lot. And we can fine tune that, remember, using the Q and the, the play button. So if I'm going to try the play button there, it goes out of focus. The Q button brings it back in. There it is. It's in focus. I can see the green lines appeared around. Having done that, don't do anything else but recompose your shot. Now you're going to record your scene. And all you've got to do is press the record button. And then to effect the rack focus, one on the trash can brings you back into the, the, the main screen there. And one more time brings you back to your manu magic lantern. It's still recording in the background. So go down to rack focus and by pressing, you can see there's various options at the bottom. If I press the set button, it just waits two seconds, which is fine for me. If you wanted to go straight away, it's Q button. I think the, the two seconds is quite handy. It allows the um, scene to be set. Click on the set button there on rack focus, and it will bring the background into focus. To bring back again to the foreground focus, all you've got to do is click the set button again to bring the foreground into focus. And that will operate a number of times. Eventually it does go out of focus, I've found, but you can easily reset it again. And I'm just gonna go come out of that, so, and stop recording. So that's rack focus. And um, I think you'll agree that's quite a useful tool to have.